What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron. Got the die roll nice. We're going to see this opening hand. Declare our companion here, and we will get one Tron land, one forest. It's going to be a mulligan. It's close, but it's not there. It would have been better than this no land hand, but we will keep digging. Two nander, no landers in a row. That is rough. All right. We will keep that because that is Tron, though. Uh, we'll get rid of one of the extras. We don't need the search here. we got to get rid of one more card. Um... Tricky. Karns are better play, but Worm Coil. Ah, our opponent didn't declare a companion, it looks like, so we'll go for the Karn. Then get our first look what our opponent is up to. Valakut. Alright. Interesting to see them not running a Jagantha. They usually run one. So this could be... Probably... There's an All is Dust. I didn't know I was running one. Um, so i got to double check this build. But maybe useful here. We'll play out the mine. Pass the turn. Alright, it is going to be an Amulet Titan. Yep. That's going to be a good bit of mana. Alright, they get a snow-covered forest. And that's going to be it for turn. That's a slow start for them, which works in our favor. We will grab the tower. More board wipes. I'm going to say they don't get two mana next turn. Um, they could theoretically do something with the amulet, but taking the land just seems more correct. They have a forest. Alright, there's a Bajuka Bog. One swamp. Oh, that's scary. Ideally, I would like a land here. I will play this. Crack it for green. That is indeed a land. Just not the land we were looking for. Yep, we still only have seven. So, two of these is tricky. I think they're only going to get one land per play though, so I think we still take the Bajuka Bog here. And we'll run out the O stone. All right, they're going to have two green mana. This may have been a mistake if they have a way to go off.
Ancient stirrings. All right, they do not. We're going to grab a land. does suck that we have to use the green source for this. Well. I guess that does get us a fetch for next turn. All right, we'll go ahead and blow this. All right, there's the Sacred Tribe Scout. We will play an expedition map. Crack it. Grab a tower. Cast the Allah's Dust. Sacrifice the Sanctum of Ugin. Grab the Ulamog. Okay, and he's going to scoop up to that. Interesting game one, to be sure. We definitely want the Nature's Claims. And possibly the warping wheels and the spatial contortions. We do not need our graveyard removal. I still like the all is dust and the O stones. Maybe you don't need the the warping whales. Get rid of one ul ul ah, tongue tied. One Ulamog, uh, go down the Thrag Tusk and a Worm Coil Engine as well. They're going to have the play this game, which will be interesting. And this is no Tron Lands, so that's a Mulligan. One Tron land, one other land, no green sources. This is also going to be a mulligan. Oh. One green source off from Tron. Do we keep this? I get the feeling I may regret this. But we will see. We do get the draw. 18 amulet, ancient stirrings. Grabbing an amulet. Simic growth chamber, all right. Not what we want to see, but at least it's a castable spell. All right. 
right, well, we'll take a turn to start setting that up. He probably has a very interesting next turn, but I don't think we can stop that. Actually, Spatial Contortion might have been able to if he's going to use Bounce Lands. Eh. I still like setting up Tron. Okay, it's not the one we can interact with anyway, so not the worst. Grab the power plant. Still not in a good spot here. We could theoretically have the Titan this turn. All right, nothing we can do about that. We kept spatial contortion instead of warping wheel. Which may be incorrect, but the more I think about it. There's six mana. Yep. We'll take the opportunity to kill what we can. All right, this isn't the best, but it's all we have. So we play this and hope they just don't have the resources. They have all the mana they could want. There's the Summoner's Pact. We're going to get two lands. No amulet, so they're still playing slow. I don't think they have a way to activate the Sun Home. So I'm guessing probably either either going to get a search land and a bounce land or a. Ah, okay. Yep. But what do we need here? Yep. 
Yep. All right, they're going to kill the Death Touch. Would not mind in all his dust. All right, that is not in all his dust. Ten mana to do that. Yep. It's got to pay four here. Hopefully he doesn't hit an amulet, which, but it is likely. Yep, all right, that should probably be game. Uh, with no green source on our side, yeah. If that had been a forest, eh, this would be a different matchup. Somewhat different. They may not have us dead. We'll see. All right, they're going to go grab Bounce Lens, it looks like. Yep. Oh, no, they're just going to give it Devil Strike. Yep, a lot of triggers. That's going to be 20, yep. Yeah. They have lethal. Alright, that wasn't going to save us. We pretty much needed a Tron the tower last turn, or Karn probably would have helped. Uh, we'll pull out these spatial contortions for the warping whales. If it was a little bit better, and give that a try. We will take the play, which does help in this. But we do need Tron, so knock on wood here. Uh, two towers. Oh. It's tempting because it's turn four Ulamog. Is turn four Ulamog good enough? I gotta hope so. On the play, I'm gonna bet on the turn four Ulamog. If we can draw another Trodden Land, um, that could be turn four Ulamog plus something else. So we'll see. All right, the amulet, not fun. Crack for green. Of a power plant.
This is going to be a good turn for him, more than likely. All right, that's two mana. That's pretty good for us, actually. We'll have Tron next turn. We get to see what they got going this turn. All right. Interesting. Okay, Beast Within does suck. Buys them a turn, but they are playing it safe, so that does scare me. If they have it, they have it. I'm at. Although they do know what I'm playing towards as well. So they may not have the kill in hand. If they have another beast within, we're just going to go for the Hex Drinker. Okay, that's scary. And they have the Ghost Quarter. The chances of them having answer and story. Drawing Tron again was nice, uh, but we're going to have to draw, look for a nature's claim, which we do not get. We're going to run out of Hex Drinker and level them up twice. They have successfully stalled us, um, and they are in a very good spot with the way they're set up. All right, that's going to be four mana, which is unfortunate. Yep. 
Oh, this is looking like they have... So there may have been an argument for leveling the Hex Drinker up one more time. Yeah, this will be the Titan. Yep. Uh, for the 4-4, but I really wanted to get a Nature's Claim to stop this double trigger here. The only question is, can we live what they're about to do? Yep. And they're going to give it double strike. Yep. They're going to go to combat. We have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. We can block 4 damage. Can they pump this thing up to 12? Probably. They can untap that, so maybe not. They are unlikely to predict the... Yep. Valakut. All right, this has Vigilance and Haste and Trample. Yeah, I want to save as much life as possible. We get the mine. Honestly, what's scarier? Then the mana. So yeah, I think the O stone is gonna buy us a turn. We will blow it when he goes to combat. Yep. Gonna get a zombie. Transmuting. All right, seems like he's going very heavily on the Valakut strategy. Summoner's Pact. That 
was probably a mistake. Yep. That does prevent one of the Valakut triggers. He cast a path this turn, correct? Or a some. Uh. He only has two green sources? Um, and the Valakuts are tempting, but I think I only see two green sources, and he definitely played a pact. So I think that's going to be it for game. It is. All right, nice. Very interesting games. Um, interesting matchup, uh, classic matchup, really at this point. Uh, no, I'm surprised he wasn't running a Jegantha. I'm uh, wondering what two man or two mana cost color or two of the same color card he wanted to run instead, but fun interactions. Uh, we usually don't get there. This is a rough matchup, so we did pretty well. I think he tried to delay us a little bit too much. Uh, it looked like he had it early, uh, but he was more worried about what we were gonna do. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the matchup. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. Tectonic Edge signing out.